All right, everybody. Welcome to the video. This is Eric, VBA How To. And this video is called How to Create a, a SQL Statement Off of a Combo Box Selection. So uh, our scenario here, oh, by the way, you can get the get this database at vbahowto.com. Uh, make sure you go on out there and get the code and the database. Uh, both will be available to you. So, anyway, I'll have one simple table right here. Again, this can be applied to your various situations. Uh, but we have some products here. Okay, some products. And again, these are fictitious products. Actually, they came out of the Northman database. So, but each of these products they uh, are selected and they are part of a package some products are part of multiple packages some products are part of their own packages okay and so we're gonna generate a SQL statement that says okay give me the products that belong to uh, my selection if I select condiments basket I want just the products that belong to that if I select the tea basket, I want the products that belong to the tea basket, and so on and so forth. And so I'm using a, a SQL statement to generate this. Again, apply it to your own situation. Okay, this is a, an example. And, uh, or you may want to take it and run with it the way it is. It's fine. <clears throat> Again, get the database at vdahowto.com. Okay, uh, my choice is here. Okay, I open up this form. It's called baskets, FRM baskets. Uh, my choices are um, this is an ordinary field list. Okay, my combo box, I set it to be a, a field list, a field list coming from the table of products, the product table. And I'm then I have the ability to select uh, what field I want. Okay, I this one, I say I want the pastry basket field. And then select items for the basket. Okay, bang! I select them. Here are all the items that I've selected: pastry basket. All these are check boxes, and my product. Let's do another one. Let's do the beer basket. Okay. So you want the beer basket? You say, oh, what products belong to the beer basket? Well, these products right here: the the ale, the lager, all this stuff. And again, if you're a beer connoisseur, and if I got these wrong. Uh, forgive me okay uh, condiments basket okay it's not like ketchup these are foreign things so uh, Sir Rodney uh, again if you're watching this and you're at Britain that's fine chef Anton's Gage's seasoning okay something from Louisiana and here are the products that belong to that okay so basically I've done that and I can just go ahead and select a report produce report based on this I didn't do this in this video uh, put down there the combo the comment section if you want to see a report on this um, I didn't put one there so uh, behind the scenes let's look at the code behind the scenes I have this one little chunk of code right here okay real simple I'm gonna put a breakpoint right here uh, just gotta step through it when I select the condiments basket I say select item as I go through the step and if it didn't work with uh, with this video thing so I'm gonna do F5 and I my field is the combo box choice whatever I chose in that combo box is gonna be my field heading okay then I'm going to produce my SQL statement my product name from the field okay product name and field from products where the field is true and then I'm setting my regular source real important uh, you have a disconnected disconnected form on here and I'm setting the form equal to the SQL statement it's like just the sub form it's disconnected it's based on my selection from the combo box so based on my selection for the combo box uh, I am formulating a SQL for my disconnected subform okay mouthful and then here I'm saying uh, give me make sure that these these two these the control box for the for the label and for the for that that text box I want it to be the same as a field name 
Okay. So everything ties out. Everything's good to go. And then bang. And voila. And that is not it. That's the table. And so uh, here's my here are my condiments. Again, just real quick, because it's kind of fun to click everywhere. Okay, going on. Okay, uh, and no, notice how I only have three objects here. Okay, products, basket items, and baskets. Again, this video is over with. Hopefully, it was helpful to you. Uh, make sure you go on out there to vbahowto.com. You can get the the video and you can get the the code of the database all that good stuff and uh kind of for you hands-on people like myself okay you may want to see what's going on and i could use it well i'll, I'll save that for the, the next video okay have a good one and thanks for watching and for your time and we'll talk to you i'll talk to you soon bye